Wait, should you teach me how to do a burnout first? I, no, I no, it's better if you crap. What is going on, you beautiful, beautiful people? And so what we got going on tonight, as you can tell, it's nighttime out here, but we're starting a new project. Now, as you guys might notice, the driveway seems fairly empty, and that's because we sold the beloved F-250. This is, it's crazy for me to even say right now, but, and it's gonna be taken care of, and it's gonna be used as a truck all the time, and I'm excited for new ventures and everything like that, I mean, the reason I sold it was because you guys know I have this awesome Ford ST, Explorer ST, and this thing pulls and does everything I needed to do without question. So I didn't really need the F-250 anymore to tow, so I sold it. It is still so fresh, so it hasn't really, really hit me yet, but it's gone. We saved some stuff from it, as you guys will see later in the video, but we have a new project that's actually in the shop right now. And we need to go and start on it, honestly, because I, I gotta give it back in like two days. And I'll, I'll explain this in a minute. The driveway looks so empty without the truck here, though. This is gonna be a really wild thing to see uh, in my in my shop, but check it out. That's right, guys. We got a um, I got a Defender HD10 in the shop, but it's it's not mine. If you guys remember, a couple videos ago, we went and picked up Vinny, uh, one of my really good good buddies, a brand new Defender XT HD10 Max. It looks so good, rolling. Well, then we got that thing loaded up and looking good in the camo I mean this thing's freaking nasty but one of my favorite mods that I did on my x3 right here was the signature ghost light turn signal kit that actually makes these side-by-side -side street legal so what we're gonna be doing tonight if you guys couldn't really tell from me giving you guys that information is we're gonna be actually installing a defender signature ghost light turn signal kit on this here XT. So I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited. First thing we gotta do is get the box, open it up, lay everything out, and really hope it comes with good instructions. Open it up for the first time. I'm so excited about this because I have only seen it. I've only seen this done on mine and Kyle's X3, so I am even more pumped on the freaking Defender. Now, what we got here from Corbin right here says we have a CSR kit for the Can-Am Defender, four-door, signature ghost lights, seat belt, and the running light harness, and they sent out a shirt. So, shout out to Corbin. Let me go grab my tripod and we'll open up the rest of what's in this box. These people are such a great company. Ooh, baby. Mmm. Dang, let's go. All right, so after reading this entire instruction book, I'm realizing this is gonna be a lot of work. A lot of work. So, we're gonna get started. Now, I've read through this a few times, and there's just a few things on here that really make me not wanna start doing this at nine o'clock at night. But, Vinny is getting back with his kids from uh, Disney the day after you guys are watching this. And I need, I need to get it done so we could surprise him with this. So without further ado, I'm gonna start taking this thing apart. So first things first on the instructions for the Corbo lights. We gotta take out these tunnels right here, uh, plastic front and rear. Now, I'm not gonna show you every single step of the way because their instructions are highly detailed and I appreciate them very much for that. So I'm gonna try to kind of focus on time lapsing and uh, kind of figuring it all out because it's a it's my first go around for this kind of stuff. So um, if you if I, if I can do it and figure it out in this video, then you you guys definitely can.
All right, guys, you probably just saw me take out the bottom half of the dash there and the firewall cover. Let's see, I'll show you that right here. This is all exposed now. Usually you had this big old, this big old piece right here hanging down right here. Couldn't get access to this. So next, we're gonna be shooting the wiring harness up underneath here. And what this wiring harness is, is just the turn signal, the horn, and the relays and all that type of stuff. That way up here is totally controlled on its own system. Um, and then it'll eventually plug into the main wiring harness as you guys will know. So pretty plug and play um, system that Corbin produces here. You guys know it looks sick on my, on my X3. Now it's gonna be sick on the Defender. So, all right. So I've been working for a minute and this is where we're at. So as you guys can see, I've kind of destroyed the front end of this uh, Defender. And let me just show you all that I've done. So last step that you guys saw was me taking off this plate. Uh, I connected the two modules, the turn signal module to the rest of the wiring harness. I fed the two switches, switch relays together as well. These will be routed up on the left side of the steering wheel, which I showed you in the beginning of the video. I ran the turn signal wires. They are right here as of right now. They'll probably come up through here connect to each light, and then we'll be solid on that front. But first, we had to take off the side plastics, the hood, and a few other bolts underneath just because of how this Defender was put together. Now, they definitely did not keep in mind anything in for anyone aftermarket when it comes to this regard of uh, installing parts. So we've had to really tear into this thing, and it doesn't help that I didn't wash this thing beforehand because I found hay in literally every nook and cranny I, I don't even know how it gets there so first thing we're gonna do now is take off this headlight which honestly i should unplug the headlight first headlights right there headlight number one coming out we're gonna clean these before we put them back in we'll we'll set them over here but man those lights do look pretty cool and it would be really awesome to get a set of leds for this as well before we give it back to them Right, guys we have the defender front end back together and now is the the least fun part which is just wiring I'm assuming I'm hoping I've got to run the wiring harness all the way to the rear it's about 12 o'clock and I've got to do the switches in here so it's not looking like it's too much more so I'm gonna keep you guys in a time lapse for the time being and then we're gonna warp over to Brad's house uh, and roast some tires so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a preview so you know something is exciting coming in this video so I'm gonna finish this up in a time lapse. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I really, I really appreciate it. Oh boys, I'm so tired, it's 1 a.m. But check this out. We got the Corbin Custom lights on right now and I am so freaking stoked. Next, what we need to do is order some LEDs and uh, we're gonna soup them up with some different tires as well as uh, install the windshield wiper kit. So that's all for another day. I'm going to bed. Appreciate you guys, I'll see you in here in a second. Guys, and here it is, the finished product. Got to get some air in these rear tires, but um, yeah, we did everything and it looks so freaking clean. Oh, we got to go get the LED headlights. Went online and got some Oxbeam LEDs for this thing. So these and these match now. You can kind of see the halogen right there. They're not bad, but look how icy white. This is so much of a difference, but you can't even tell on camera. But yeah, that looks good. Let's check high beam. Oh yeah, way, way better. Let's do the other side. Well, let's get this thing out of here. Just like that, way better. All right, boys, made it over to the ranch. 
And if you know what that means, that means me and Brad are about to get up to literally no good. <laughs> Brad! <laughs> are we starting like a dealership or something, dude? That's what I said! Come here. Come here. You look. Brad. Wait, hold on, Brad. Brad, you're being very generous here. We have like 10 friends, okay? <laughs> That's what Courtney said. That's what I said. I don't know. <laughs> we're, we're looking for 32 drivers. I gotta show you one thing. Okay, <laughs> look, hold on. Cold, hold on. Too. Look, look at this. Okay. Yeah. This is gonna be for your personal. When you, when you see it. You yeah. Ready? You ready? That is crazy. <laughs> oh. Look at that mess. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's, we overdid it? <laughs> Dude, we're gonna have to build a bigger track. <laughs> we're building it right here. Let's uh, let's get this thing off and uh, let's see if you're actually down to do a little. I'd hate to make some more tire marks on your pa nice pavement here. I'm surprised. We need, more, I'm, we need more. We'll move everything. I'll move my. Where do you want to do it? Uh, you want to do it in the, by the C train? Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. All right. So if you guys didn't know, and Brad and his dad recently got new units, and they are sick. You guys need to go check them out. But look at this. Oh my gosh. And then the all black murdered out Defender. I've driven around Vinny's Defender in earlier in this video and it is so nice. I really want a Defender now. I probably want a two door there, but four doors a little more expensive. But man, this thing blacked out looks so clean. Check that out. Hi. All right guys, here I, we go. I guess this time. I, wait, should you teach me how to do a burnout first, Brad? No, okay. no, it's better if you crash. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Let's Look, you're setting up this camera right now. All right, Miller, the question is, will you pop these? That's the question. Belt pops, tires pop. Hope in the tires. Are you going to wall tap? We'll see how close we get. All right. I've never done this before. Is that, should I say that? You feel a little nervous? You got a little crowd right now, yeah, dude. No, I wasn't, really wasn't expecting this. <laughs> I didn't really want this. <laughs> I was hoping it was just going to be Brad. <laughs> oh. Strapping in for a smoke show? No, he's doing donuts. Oh, shoot. Everyone back up. If I flip it, it'll be better for the video, right? Kind of. <laughs> it's all about damage control. It's all right, bro. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. They're getting hot, they're hooking up. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what's going on. Dude, looks good, keep going. Hey, that was good. Oh, you messed up your wheel, dude. Oh, did it? Bad. Oh, 
bad. Where, where at? No, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I was like, where? Hey, that was good. Was that your first wall tap? That yeah. was a tire tap. Yeah, I guess that was my, I, it was a little aggressive, I'd say. Oh, you even went over this? How the, how did that happen? How did my tire not even pop? <laughs> hey, this thing does better than a thought. Yeah, it does pretty good, right? You know what we ought to do? Well, am I the first person to put tire you marks on You were the this? first person, so congratulations. Oh, well, I'll take it. Can I put my name right here? Yes. <laughs> All I know is like, I thought you were Travis for so. <laughs> I was just there, trying there, to... there, there, was, there was a time there I'm like, is this Miller or is this Travis? <laughs> I was just trying to be like you, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's fun. Uh, is he going to do it? Burn out. Are you going to do a burn out? Yeah. What a day out here. Dude, that this was, was unplanned. Um, do your go-karts run, Brad? No. No? There's no oil in them. Oh, he's coming back from oil. Oh. <laughs> well, I think it's safe to say we uh we burned these off pretty freaking pretty freaking good. So what I'm doing, Brad, is I wanna do I wanna have a set of road wheels. Okay. So this is gonna be my road wheel right here, and I'm gonna put those all trained on it. What do you mean a road wheel? Like like when I wanna like say go up to the mountains and rip in the mountains or drive like, around like town. With like more like a like a, a car tire? Yeah, car tire. So oh. we'll put these tires right here on those wheels. Oh, I thought those were for your trailer. No, uh uh. This is oh. the same size as a trailer tire, yes, but these are like oh, that's kinda dialed. So it's gonna ride so good. I'm hoping it grips up pretty good. I've also got those uh okay. um slicks that I'm gonna be putting on them too, so I want to just see how these work just for a little while, you know? Oh, I, I bet they're going to work incredible. I, I picked them up off Facebook Marketplace, so going to be going to be solid. I got something for you. So our good friend sent us out some uh, some mud flaps here. So we got some rock kickers, some mud what guards. What sent us out? Me one? Yeah, you. That's one of yours. That's yours. Stop. No, that's for real. What do you mean? What are they? They're mud flaps for they're under for this under? for the K and M. Um, Oh, we oh got some brother! Tinkers. Do you have any cocktails <laughs> for some uh, for the boat this summer? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, dude, these are all press brakes. These are nice. Rock knocker. This is the best thing about your your brand, man. You don't see that every day. Made in America. I already love these guys. Yeah. But so like, so this goes on the trailing arm, then. Is what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, it goes above the trailing arm, so it doesn't hit there. Oh, dude, that's some gnarly. Oh, let me feel that. That is nice. Bag up. You want to go hold it up? Do I want to hold it up? Let's do Duh. It. Let's do it. Well, that'll be so nice, especially if we go race or like go out to the track or absolutely do something. So I'm just trying to. Is this all off the trailing arm? No. So this is on the sway bar mount. So the sway bar mounts right here. These oh, will it's come chassis off. Mount. Yeah, chassis mount. So it'll come up, and go right there, and then be hooked there somehow and hang like that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> thank you, man. Oh, hey, dude. It, well, I you just got a can am because of me, so I figured I could get you a, some parts for the can am. Well, thank you and thank Rock Knocker. I yeah. am, I don't That's even know what to say. I, I'm kind of caught off guard. I'm <laughs> very excited. Figured I'd bring the set over today. Well, let's mount these suckers up. Well, let's do it. All right, guys. Appreciate you guys watching. If you would, leave a like, comment. If you're sad about the truck leaving, I'm sorry. But in the next video, you guys are going to see us mount up these tires and announce something pretty cool that I'm doing. So I'll see you guys next week. Oh, wouldn't that be nice?